Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I don't think they understand. No they, don't, they don't understand, bro. Because just because it ain't Black History no more, uh -uh. no Black History Month, don't mean we not making some more Black History. I'm trying to tell you. You get what I'm saying, DC Young Flat? Now, we've been calling our studio the trap since we got over here. You but we done brought some legends through. Legends? We done brought some, some ball players, some actors, some movie some stars, artists. some artists. Some damn sheriffs. Bruh. <laughs> but today, what we got? We getting black as hell today. Hold up, put all put, put all up before you do anything. Make sure if you got some black in your closet, go put it on. Go put it on. I'm talking go about put it on. this how black we about to get, DC. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about Vaseline man. as lotion black. Huh? I'm talking about hair conditioner as lotion black. You I'm hear talking me? about I'm talking about the whole summer at your grandma house. You hear me? I want the blue freeze pop only black. <laughs> you hear me? I'm talking about I'm talking about so black when you have to tell your brother and your dad outside. That's how black we get. I'm talking about so black. Don't mind them roaches. They live here. Black. You hear me? Bro, I'm talking about so black. What you mean I'm fine? Get my goddamn check. Hey. Bruh. I'm talking about so black. Check engine light on, but that means it's still running. Oh. Yeah. I'm talking about you got some rims mm -hmm. black, but you need some ties black. Yes, sir. Now, today, what we doing? We switching up the whole game plan. Pop your shit. Bruh, we got a whole. Son of a revolutionary I'm finna wife cry, up man. I'm finna cry, man. with us, bro. And we comedians. I'm finna cry, man. We be bullshitting all the time. But we bringing some real shit today, bro. They got this movie out right now that's based on his father's life. Judas and the Black Messiah. We have none other. None other. Than Fred Hampton oh. Jr. Hey. Wait a minute. Don't hit the music yet. No, wait, wait. That's what we know him as. Uh huh. But the people who know him for real, uh huh, call him the chairman. The chairman. Now his the music. I ain't bullshit. Hold up, OG. I can't do like that. Ah. Well, look, gotta do the, the thing, but we just talking. Talk, yes, talk, yes, sir. Real talk. Got me. Bro. Real talk. Yes, sir. Them, 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 them your Man. people. It's my comrades. We my comrades. We talking so black. We talking about chain gangs and alias names. You hear me? Yeah. Talk your shit, OG. Yeah, talk. Welcome to the 85 South Show. So it's an honor to be here, brothers. No, it's an honor and a pleasure to have you. It's an honor to have you, OG. You great. Hey, man. I'll be here, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Before we even get into it, how you feel? Hey, it's a saying that Chairman Fred Hampton uh, would say, say um, we too proletarian, revolutionary, intoxicated to be astronomically intimidated. Mm -hmm. And what that means in plain nameless terms, we, you know, we, we have the people, man. It's a phenomenal time. You know what I'm saying? I mean, the type of conversation, the type of discussion that's happening, you know, it's intense. You know, just, I don't, I don't want to go too far here, but just even with the release of the trailer of the movie, you know what I'm saying, it's, it's up to Annie mm. on conversations that we've been having for quite some time. A lot of people been, you know, fearful to have them or even have them in a sort of, quote unquote, coded sort of way. So again, I'm, I'm, I'm charged up. Real right. talk. Before we even talk about the movie, let's talk about the process. Like, yes, sir. You know, I know people, Real talk. a lot of people have approached the family yes. about buying the rights and telling yes. the story, mm -hmm. but like, what was the atmosphere leading up to this? Did you feel like this is the right, this is right, this is how I want this to be seen? Or like, what was the family's overall consensus before the movie was even? Right on. I'm it's glad you prefaced it that way, because you know, so a lot of times, you know, you know kids get it twisted. Cause we, you know, even we say, you know, the streets make the music, music don't make the streets. Mm -hmm. Dog wide the tail, tail wide the dog. So before the movie, there has been a you know, consistent, you know, struggle going on. So a lot, a lot of times people have been approaching us saying, man, I've I seen the movie, so how can we get, you know, how can we start the struggle back? We say, hold on, get your lay pass. This has been going on for quite some time. Um, something sticks in my mind and my heart. Um, I'm probably about 12 years old, and we were approached, me and my mother, and this is one, one and I emphasize one, one of the times in which uh, our gas was cut off, you know, at our, at our, at our house, Chicago Winter, and it was a book proposal. However, it, it raised one of the police up as the protagonist and you know, put the police in a good light. And her principal position that she took, uh, Kua and Jerry, we call her Mother, Mother Kua, formerly known as Deborah Johnson. And I remember asking her, about 12 years old, she, I said, well, if this happens, does that translate? You know, to, 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 he getting turned back on in the house. And she took a principal position, she said, it's a no-go. And even against contested conditions with other people that may have been in the Black Panther Party, and I distinguish those that were in the Black Panther Party from those that are Black Panthers. Mm -hmm. Even with family members mm -hmm. say, you know, go, you know, man, go, as, as what youngsters called now, chase the bag. 
she said, no go. And so this ain't the first time that even before the, the, uh, the butler, Forrest Whitaker, Antoine Fuqua, different people was talking about this. So I just want to preface it, you know, mm -hmm. put in the context. So fast forward to where we are right now. You know, we had got word through the grapevine. There was some, there was some discussion about doing a project on Chairman Fred. So, in many, you know, so I, I think was okay. Here we go again. They're not gonna get through the vetting process. Mm -hmm. And we studied it. We you know, so there were various scripts brought to us. Various, you know, even if you Google, it, you can actually see some of the initial titles that were proposed, and the narrative was incorrect. Mm -hmm. So before I even brought it to uh, my mother comrade, you know, not just. In a subjective way, you know, this is this ain't my mother. She resides on our advisory board mm. of our organization, the Black Panther Party Cubs. Before we bring it to her, we want to vet it. In other words, cut the fat, cut the fat off the meat. Mm -hmm. See if we're gonna, if we're gonna barbecue a meal, do what it is. So we went through the process, and you know, said back and forth, back and forth. You know, saying then we, you know, we finally sat down at the Hampton House, that's the house which Chairman Fred grew, grew up in. And uh, you know, we talked to you know, uh, script writers, you know, producers, you know what I'm saying, uh, Shaka King, Will Burson, uh, Ryan Coogler, um, his, his wife, uh, Zinzi, um, uh, Charles King, Macro, that's who worked in conjunction with Warner Brothers. So it was, it was like a tug and pull process. Mm -hmm. and, and the deal is, in, in, of, in, in so many cases, the movie industry, the music industry, and our schools, every, you know what I'm saying, the, 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 the foreign merchants in our community, mm -hmm. it's like, they come through in our community, you know what I'm saying, with a, with a, with a position, like this has gonna go there, that's it. Mm -hmm. And the deal is, you know what I'm saying, when it comes to this legacy, you know what I'm saying, in fact, we say a legacy is more important than our life. All right. A legacy is more important than our life because we got a certain amount of time to physically be here. Mm -hmm. But a legacy serves as a template or a prototype, how we gonna you know, move forward. So again, we, we back and forth and finally get to the stage where we at right now. It was, you know, it was, it was a lot of struggles, principal struggles, you know what right. I'm saying, on the set. I still wake up at nighttime right now, jumping up, cut, mm -hmm. stop, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But no regrets, and, and I, I just got worried now about some of the, the, um, the um, up the awards and the, the, the nominations and you know, acknowledgement. But that but the deal is something that all parties involved, you know, what I'm saying from the cast, Daniel Kaluuya, uh, Dominique Fishback, you know, brother Algie, oh, you know, so, Lakeith Stanfield, others, and even on the soundtrack, brother Rock Kim and others, man, you know, what I'm saying they, their position was, well, let's make sure, you know, what I'm saying. Um, that the family is respected, and that's, and that's, that's, we're real big about respect, you know what right. I'm saying? I mean, you know, I come up in Chicago, a city of structure, and in fact, Chicago was one of the, um, the last cities that the government was able to bring crack cocaine in. They had to, you know, um, kill Fluky Stokes and lock up Chief Malik for me, you know, Jeff Ford, because it's, 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 it's checks and balances, you know what I'm saying? You just, right. can, you just can move a certain way. Mm -hmm. And I'm held accountable. So even with the initial proposal with the script, there were certain other entities, other organizations, other individuals that were not respected. And a lot of people say, man, why are you tripping about other organizations? But like the ecosystem, the balance, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I know we deal with the generation, a lot of people deal with subjectivity. In other words, all they see is how they view. Mm -hmm. But I'm real big, you know what I'm saying? I'm real big about respect. And so it was a lot of tug and pull lot to get to the stage in the game. Yeah. So what's it like having to, like you said, wake up every day and defend that legacy or try to further it, push it, preserve it. Not only defend it, but also bring light to others. Right, because so a lot understand. of, like this movie brought yes. a lot of light. Yes. It's a lot of, it's a generation yes. of kids that don't know. Don't know. That that that, even, the, even the yes. shit they said yeah. in the movie yeah. is just a piece of it. The G-rated version, right. yeah. the part that they comfortable enough to talk about. Real they talk. don't know how raw this real, real situation talk. Right. is. Real talk. They don't know what this means. Real talk. Right. Let me go. Let me go with the latter part of what you just asked. You know what I'm saying about, um, and that's something that I don't. A lot of people really like. Some, a lot of cats ask me. They say, "Why I don't know mm -hmm. about Chairman Fred? Why I don't know about the Black Panther Party?" I said, "Are you really? Are you really able? You, do you really want to know the answer to that? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's, being one, it's, it's it's embarrassing being oppressed. Mm -hmm. It's embarrassing that, I, that we, that our community. You know what I'm saying? We so terrorized." That we terrified of even acknowledging it, you know what I'm saying? And so that we try to jive ourselves, we try to use euphemisms. You know, right. The system gives us euphemisms. Other communities, other people, they have the advantage and disadvantage of what we call an acknowledged war. The acknowledged war is like in Nazi Germany. They say terms, they acknowledge that the, uh, on the tenure of uh, the Fuhrer, uh, Adolf Hitler, Minister of Propaganda, right. uh, Grobel, that they, 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 they created the ghettos. 
if the script has been flipped to make us believe that we created the ghetto, it's not community. Other communities, they, they use terms like propaganda bombs. They acknowledge they are political prisoners. Our community, we don't know about the Mumia Abu Jamal, the Sunday out of college with Shelton Kimmigis, you know, the seat numbers, your brother, sister down the street, political prisoners. So that's embarrassing. And, it's, and so a lot, a lot, a next logical question is that why we don't know about this here. And you know, even family members of some of the people who depicted in the movie, mm -hmm. who didn't know about the contributions. It's in, in the breaking process that happened to our people. Mm -hmm. The way that Chairman Fred, the way the defense got DeMar Clark, the way that they were assassinated, and I stress that term, right. assassinated, it was strategic. There were images of Chicago police bringing his body out. Mm -hmm. at four, you know what I'm saying? At the, uh, around 435 in the morning, they were chanting, Chairman Fred is dead, similar to the, during the era of chattel slavery. A pregnant sister would run away from the plantation. They just didn't go out there and kill her. They went and got her, brought her back. Brought her back. Real talk, bro. You with me? Brought her back, slid her stomach open in front of the masses of people, stomped the fetus to death. This is still terror to terrify the masses, horror to horror for the masses. It broke generations to come. It was a time in South Korea, I forget who, under whose tenure it was, but they would say you would, they would lock you up, you thought you was going to get out, they said, uh, we're going to hold you for your child and your grandchild, the weed up out of you, the position. Three they generations. Said, Three generations. And, like, and, and people pass down trauma. And also people pass down punkism, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, don't do that, don't, don't ask that question, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? It's, it's not even thought about. And a lot of our people also, we don't even think that we're worthy of being assassinated. Mm -hmm. like, even with this, the script. You know, so things you take for granted. You see, like the term chairman, we struggle for that. When I was in Ireland with the delegation with the, uh, the Free Movement Abu Jamal, with Minister of Confrontation, Pam Africa, Ramon Africa, this is the MOVE organization. This was, the, a lot of people think the government, the United States, they just dropped a bomb in Libya. They're like, man, I can't believe the government dropped the bomb. Not knowing about 1985. Philly. May 13th, come on, man. May 13th, 1985, when the U.S. government, uh, used a Negro, Wilson Good, to drop a bomb. On our, on, our, on our people, on our, on our community, on, our, on, our, on the move family. Mm -hmm. So to put that in context, to up to Andy to call that question, to put in this, we say the political context, you know what I'm saying? Because we're told don't talk about that, you know what I'm saying, don't acknowledge that. And I think with the alcoholics and anonymous, they said one of the first step in addressing the problem is recognize that you got a problem, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Sun, Tzu, Sun Tzu says in the art of war, the cardinal principle of warfare is know thyself and know thy enemy. That's the first step. Mm -hmm. He said before you move forward, know thyself and know thy enemy. So. Back to the heart of the question. It's a, it's, it's, it's a blessing and it's a burden. I ain't gonna, I'm not going to romanticize this, man. Mm -hmm. You know, I've been in school suspended for just writing about Chairman Fred. You know what I'm saying? Uh, been placed in isolation for having articles about who Chairman Fred is. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And this is something that, you know, other entities, other organizations, other walks of life have a quote unquote luxury to talk about it. At the funeral services for Stanley Tookie Williams, co founder mm -hmm. of the Crips. Mm -hmm. When we had left, when we went down to um, Lemur Park, I had said something to the effect that Tookie Williams had grew up in a climate like I grew up in, deprived of an organization such as the Black Panther Party, where the only quote unquote option that's given to us is to become a Boy Scout or a banger. Right. I said, never again, that on my watch. You know what I'm saying? Now, that's your cup of tea, so be it. But this is, this is a, like, like, like I'm, 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 I'm in a situation one time, the sister, she had just come from uh, Haiti. Mm -hmm. And so Cass was hustling on her, on her, on her porch, uh, east on south, southeast side of Chicago. So she had contacted us, we went out there, and we had dealt with it. You know what I'm saying? I'm leaving it at that, you know what I'm saying? Right. We dealt with it. So she said, I can't really figure you out. She said, you, you know, you read books, you knowledgeable, but she said, but you, she said, what are you, like, is a political thug, whatever. Even Tupac, a lot of cats can, can you, like, a lot of cats can't sum up Tupac. They can't understand a love for the people. My mother said, my mother said, Tupac needed organization, organization needed Tupac. You know mm -hmm, what I'm saying? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the Black Panther Party was an organization that turned the communities into classroom. They just didn't engage in what Chairman Fred called intellectual masturbation. In other words, it's a whole bunch of walk and talk, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. the theory. A lot of cats are talking they want to join our, our organization, the Black Panther Party Cubs. You say, okay, did this here. They say, this ain't no YouTube sensation. Mm -hmm. This ain't no talk. You got you to gotta go do a certain amount of what we call Cub community service. Mm -hmm. You got to serve the people. You got to make mistakes. You got to tie theory into practice. Because a lot of people engage in what we call uncontested conditions. You know, in other words, they say stuff, but it's, not, it's, like, it's like, like a shadow boxer. Mm -hmm. right. A shadow boxer said, man, I'm a champ. You ain't got the ring with nobody. Mm -hmm. A lot of cats tell me, man, I ain't never told them the police, man. I said, shit, police never ask you nothing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, we, with us, our membership is contested. You know what I'm saying? And like, it's, it's like you know, we gonna, we gonna, we, we gonna, we gonna, it's some vegetation being planted right now. Mm -hmm. Even with this climate, the coronavirus. 
You want you want you you'll say even right now they're talking about what's in the code. A lot of people see it as a uh, as a uh, advantage that the Biden administration is taking these children from Mexico. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and holding them in these different, but it's producing a different type of Mexicano community. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Those who no parents. You know what I'm saying? And and, and we, we don't no have morals. Yours. Real talk. Mm -hmm. No. Under George Bush Jr.'s tenure, it, uh, they said one time in Iraq, over 78 percent of the population. Was under seven. It was under 17 years old. Now you got a whole generation that don't know what happened before them. Mm. A breeding ground for reactionaries. And our, you know, our kids are reactionary. They don't, you know, what I'm saying they don't know what happened before. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. See, I, my, I match one of our matches for our organization is we're the great grandchildren of Garvey, the offspring of Malcolm, and the cubs of Panthers. We don't think this no. This is no new dynamic about us being oppressed. You. Now, even before this, even now, it's, it's, it casts, we're in a, a climate we call reactionary climate. Mm -hmm. Prior to this, you look at the faces of a lot of them young brothers and sisters when the police ride up on them. They be literally shocked. The police don't get down on them. I can't believe the police shot my, shot my, 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 my son and my daughter 15 times. This is what they do. The, this, the, the birth, see, you go ahead and get the birth of something. On the, 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 slave, the, the birth of the police mm -hmm. was slave patrols. That, mm -hmm. that, that's, that's what it was created for. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. See, sellout is one of the most overused terms in our community. Like I kept talking, man, such and sold out. They ain't sold you out. Mm -hmm. Through the dough, that's what it was about. You know what I'm saying? See, you, you, listen, you, you, if you go, you, it's not that you had to question yourself. What was in you, mm -hmm. or better yet, what was not in you that you that you went for certain things? If you go to the pet store, you got, you know, what I'm saying you go buy a goldfish, and you bring it back, you throw a leash on it, and you, know, you say, I wonder why this motherfucking dog, why they ain't barking? This a goldfish. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It, you, you, it's a, 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 a movie on O.J. Simpson. The kid who grew up with him talked to him. He said, man, we was children in, in grammar school. Mm -hmm. He said, man, the superintendent, they take us down. We shooting dice in the bathroom. They, they take us down to the office. He said, the, the superintendent, he leaving. OJ is a child. Walked out with him. He said, where you going? He said, he, he, he left the students, the other, his, 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 cats, his colleagues with him in the office. Mm -hmm. He go with him. Bob Hope, speaking, of, I think, at UCLA. He took, they showing all the stuff that's going on, all the uprisings that's happening all over the country. And he showed you what OJ was at, at that time. This is where he's been consistently. You know what I'm saying? He ain't and, going. He was never connected to the community. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And so not that we come in with a react, what I mean by reactionary, like you come in uh, watching a Freddy or Jason movie, part seven in the middle of the movie, like, man, why they beating up Jason? Like, do, you know the, do you know the history of this motherfucker? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So the deal is, we come with an objective analysis. Not, you know what I'm saying? You never hear me say the police killed my daddy. Mm -hmm. You never hear me say that. You do hear me say the United States government assassinated Chairman Fred. That's object. That's the objective reality. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And I tell you, when we, when, we pro when the police kill people in Chicago and, and, and other colorized communities, they, they approach their families. They say, look, stay away from Hampton. Stay away from Black Panther Party Cubs. Here's your organization. Here's your artist that's going to do a song for you. They, they give it to them. You know what I'm saying? And people say, Chairman, how do you know which uncle going to sell out? How do you know which mother they going to put on the TV? I said, I study my own family. I don't cut no corners, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, we, we, Chairman Miles A. Tom say combat liberalism. I think we, we, we come in, so we don't relate, we don't, we don't, we don't relate to, it's a term we could refer to as culture nationalism. Mm -hmm. A lot of people say, you know, we all black people come together, get your dashikis and your green juice, and we all, we, you know, say, we don't relate to that. We, we use a philosophical tool known as dialectical materialism. Mm -hmm. What that means is we use common sense and logic. You know what I'm saying? Say, man, what's the, what's the, what's the M.O. of this person? You know what I'm saying? Not just, regardless of what their color is. See, Kim Yo Song in, in Korea, North Korea, he up there and he told the United States, he said, no, those in South Korea, they ride with you. They, 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 they ride with the Yankees. Mm -hmm. In Vietnam, Ho Chi Minh, you know what I'm saying? Ho Chi Minh and Gia, they said, man, hold on. We're not all Vietnamese people, there's different interests. In the Black Panther Party, they up the ante. They hiding the contradictions. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it's a reason why Cats don't know who Chairman Fred is. It's a reason why Cats don't know who authored the Rainbow Coalition. Mm -hmm. It was Chairman Fred who authored the Rainbow Coalition. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. A lot of people been, it, 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 on, this is a soundtrack on, on the Judas and the Black Messiah where Rock Kim talking. He says, this is who authored the Rainbow Coalition. A lot of people thought Jackson did to Reverend Jackson. Mm -hmm. like, you know what I'm saying? Because the states say they can't stop it, co opted, watered it down, change it, make something to be. Mm -hmm. Chairman Fred in the city of Chicago, was and remains to be one of the top segregated cities in the country. Right. He dealt with the race and the class contradiction. So I just want to deal with the race question. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So we don't cut no corners. We don't care you, whether it be Uncle Sam or Sambo, the Green or the Negro, whoever it is, whatever your last name is, whatever your religion is, religion is we don't cut no corners. Mm -hmm. He up there and he, 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 
who he took to which meetings. He studied that. Chairman Francis, revolution is a scientific art that must be perfected. Mm -hmm. It wasn't based on this is my homie, this is my friend. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He took you know, the young patriots, a group of poor whites from the Appalachian Mountains. They were so reactionary at the time they were wearing Confederate flags in their jackets. Dr. said, man, don't talk to them racist white people. He was a realist. See, the organization question is a phenomenon in Chicago. Right. Minister U.E.P. Newton, the visionary of the Black Panther Party, mm -hmm. co-founder of the Black Panther Party, mm -hmm. along with the chairman Bobby Seale, but Minister U.E.P. Newton, the visionary, he said, power. Power is the ability to define phenomena and make it act in desired matter. Power is the ability to define phenomena and make it act in desired matter. What is phenomena? Phenomena is an unusual event that can be scientifically explained. Case, case in point. Reverend Nat Turner was a realist. Mm -hmm. He put his head to the ground. He said, what's phenomenal? What, 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 as a servant of the people. He said, what, what is phenomenal with these cats? The church. And I'll be saying, oh, that's not our religion, you know, so we come from that. He said, okay, in the meantime, between time, I'm going to deal with the real world. You know what I'm saying? Because we, we, we relate to another saying. We say, God created Africans, and America made niggas. We say, the, the mayor and the machine manufactured Chirac. So Reverend Nat Turner said, okay, dig. This, this is a phenomenon. Praise the Lord, past ammunition. Harriet Tubman put her ear to the ground. See what they call Negro spirituals. It was a phenomenon. She defined it. She said, okay, I'm going to work this number. When the sun go down, I'm even by the water. Use that. In Chicago, hmm. Hmm. Chairman hmm. Fred put his ear to the ground. Hmm. He said, he said I'm going to define it. This, this ain't nothing new about us having organizations. He defined it and said, let me win them certain points of unity. He politicized the formerly known devil disciples. When they, got, they came up publicly, we now renounce something known as the black disciples due to the political education we see from Chairman Fred Black Panther Party. You've seen the Black Stone Rangers take them over a nationalistic stand because of Black Peace Stone Nation. Mm -hmm. He was even able to flip the script as the FBI. This is documented. It's a book called Up on Madison Donald John, Down, Up on Madison Donald 75th Street by John L. Rice. Well, the FBI had told the vice lords they'd get them 16th Street if they stopped the Black Panther Party from opening a free medical center on 16th Street. Now, a lot of kids say, I can't believe that. Why would the government do this? If you believe the government, the mayor, the police want to stop crime in your community, you believe Don King want to stop boxing. Mm. It's, you know, it, it's done by design. So he subsequently warned the vice lords mm -hmm. to work at the Free Medical Center. Mm -hmm. and even by the government's own records, that was what they call a record law they call black on black crime. And even, it's comedy. Let's talk about comedy. Because mm -hmm. I tell people, have, they think politics is just something separate, from, detached from the community. Mm -hmm. it, was a, it was an atmosphere that upped the ante. It was a different type of athlete. It wasn't no fight about that fight to get us another quarterback on the field. It was the, 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 the script was flipped. The, the, the script was flipped. Well, well, athletes said, I'm honored. How can I support the movement? It wasn't, no, it wasn't flipped. It wasn't, you know, it, wasn't, it wasn't vice versa. When you fight to get me a job, mm -hmm. Muhammad Ali taking those stands with the United with the people. You mm -hmm, know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It was an atmosphere where Annie was up. With a, you know what I'm saying? With James Brown, who had a totally different song planned at first. Real talk. H. Rob Brown. You know, it's a crowd. Anybody in Atlanta in particular don't know who that is. Mm -hmm. Who's kidnapped from West, the West End, who's locked up right now, known as Emil Jamil Alameen. Who's just, they talk about the document going blind right as we speak. H. Rob Brown literally drove down on James Brown. Man, you better go back to the studio with that garbage. You know what I'm saying? He came back up to him black and I'm proud. He couldn't have pulled that stuff they pulled it on in the Rocky movie with the Red Rock Blue Draws until Living in America. You know what I'm saying? It was a climb where Marvin Gaye was able to go against Barry Gordon. So I'm, I'm going to put this song out, what's going on, whether you like it or not. It was a climb. You know what I'm saying? Real Marvin Gaye, real talk. And was a, this will make these cats stick out. Why you think, like, even in the hip-hop industry, you know what I'm saying? What, what makes Nipsey Hussle and uh, Park unique? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This, this, this ain't no one-night stand, this politics. It transcends generations. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. When I first met Nipsey Hussle, we backstage around 2011, 2012, Sacramento. I'm, 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 I'm a little distance from him. I, I see, the, I see the, the chain. I said, damn. I said, damn. I said, here we go again. I'm thinking it's just, the, you know, at the time, the, the white Jesus was a big thing. So I get closer. Whoa, whoa, hold on. This ain't, this, hold on, this something different. Mm -hmm. It's Malcolm X on this chain. I said, man, you familiar with Chairman Fred Hampton? He said, Chairman Fred Hampton Jr. What type of man would I be if I knew who Chairman Fred Hampton was? Mm. This is what politics does. This shit I could, this, 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 this code in the Jenny Craig commercial. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The before and after. You know what I'm saying? It ups the ante. That's why he had to assassinate 21 year old Chairman Fred. That's why he, that's why he had to come at the Black Panther Party, everything including the kitchen sink. Real talk. Because it upped the ante. See, it's different between a war and a revolution. A war is two occupying armies. Mm -hmm. They suit up and they boot up and they get out to get out. A revolution when you gain the mass and participation of the masses of the people. It was a different type of prostitute under, under, under Ho Chi Minh and G.O.P. in Vietnam. 
prostitution via, it was different type of bumblebee. The Vietnamese used to take the bumblebees and train them, come out of bamboo sticks and, with American soldiers to you know if they were shooting at uh, bees or the Vietnamese. Mm -hmm. The prostitutes would say, yeah, I'm taking the American soldiers to bed, I guarantee he won't get up in the morning. It was a different dynamic. You know what I'm saying? It was a climate in the 60s where the animal was up. Where you seen when the Sada Shakur was on, when she was underground on the run, people, they called uh, scorched earth, spray paint. Mm -hmm. A Sada, you're welcome to come out here. It was a climate where William Thoreau said in civil disobedience, where the people said in an unjust society, the only place for a just man, I'm paraphrasing, mm -hmm. a just man or a just woman was prison. We were clear. It was, it was a climate where you didn't say terms like, when someone say, man, you heard little Joe got locked up? You wouldn't, you wouldn't have no reactionary response like, what'd he do? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You was clear. You know what I'm saying? The role of the police, the world, it's, it's a, ain't no wall drawers, no, ain't no wall drawers, no wall guns, no wall gangs. It's wall on us. Mm -hmm. As Minister UEP News said, if we don't fight back, and be defined as nothing less than reactionary suicide. This climate right now, mm -hmm. this movie, you know what I'm saying? We, this, this, is, this, is, this is not a panacea. This is not an end all. However, look at the type of discussions that's happening now. Right. Look at, I was showing this kid the other day in the studio. He doing what we call a bunch, uh, a bunch of intellectual masturbation. Well, the movie should have said this, the movie should have said that. Then he said, man, it wasn't no, no cloak and dagger figure. They telling you point directly, Jag or Hoover. You know what I'm saying? Right. The, the, I'm in the, the Billy Holiday movie last night. You know what I'm saying? The different dynamics is showing you how it impacts our everyday life. The, that term quarantine pro, counterintelligence program, a lot of organizations say just pull yourself out of bootstraps. Don't we do what we do, we ain't rubbing nobody else. That's mm -hmm. bad. That's nonsense. Mm -hmm. It's a war being waged on us. See, you impacted. You know what I'm saying? You can't have no discussion. Like, a lot of, people, a lot of other black organizations, other people can't understand what we go through. Right. You know what I'm saying? See, Billy Holiday had a different dynamic than Elephant's Jewel. You know what I'm saying? She wasn't targeted because of no dope use. See, you put it in context, the dope, that was common back then. Mm -hmm. But she was targeted because of her position, her stance. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The Black Panther, people say, well, the Black Panther Party just faded away because they had issues with gender. You talking about an organization mm -hmm. that at a time, well, people didn't know if Pat, you know Pat Nixon was? That was Richard Milhouse, Nixon's wife. They didn't even know if she, could even, she was even able to speak. I mean, literally. The Black Panther Party had women in leadership. Ranking. Deborah Johnson, that wasn't just Chairman Fred's wife. That was his comrade. She was ranking five, member of the, uh, 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 the Finance Committee, uh, uh, Lieutenant Barbara Sankey, the Finance Committee. Mm -hmm. uh, Nipsey Russell, excuse me, N N Nipsey Russell, excuse me, Nipsey Comedian. Russell. Yeah. The committee, Nipsey Russell. I told him, I told Mr. Russell about this here. Mr. Russell made a joke about this. He said, when he first met, when he met my mother, my mother to be, he said she about seven months pregnant. He kind of added on to some, you know, tied into it. And so even comedy is political. He, Nipsey, 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 Nipsey Russell say, here come this lady, she's seven and a half months pregnant. She walk up, she come to meet him after the show. She got these bullets, these bandoliers across her chest. Mm -hmm. He said, she told me I donated some money to the Black Panther Party. He said, I ain't giving no money, I ain't giving no money for no guns. He said, but I went the next day and put an envelope on the door for the Black Panther Party Free Breakfast Program. Tell me about that free breakfast program, because that's one of the most notable, notable things they know. And you were actually there as a, you know. The Black you know. the Free Breakfast Program, and, I, and, 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 that, and I, it was in, it was one of the most, it was, it was one of the genius um, programs of the Black Panther Party. Politics is like real estate, time, like even to hit you in the morning, to hit you like you hear different stories about our people, like Malcolm X would impact them in sixth grade. The hit certain, like, our community, like, you know, first of all, let me, let me preface with this. We damage goods, all of us, our mm -hmm. people, we damage goods. But a lot of people don't understand who damaged them. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people think black men done it, black women done it. I know who the damage is. I know the, 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 when I go speak places, oh, here he come, he finna blame the government, blame the system, and we do, mm -hmm. and we do. This, everything you tie into, you know, it, 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 got, it got pig hoof prints on it somewhere, believe me. Mm -hmm. The breakfast program, the time that it put out for the people. You come in there, it was a program for the people. The Black Panther Party seen that our children in particular were going to school and their grades were not up to par. They had to call for no current commission, no study, you know what I'm saying? And then people say, say, man, anybody that's going to school that's hungry, it's hard to do an addition problem. It's hard to do something about nouns and, you know what I'm saying, pronouns. They just didn't do it. Oh, that's, you know, man, it's wrong with the system doing that. They put, pro they, certain, they put programs, and it wasn't programs that, like engaging, they're going to save you. They put the programs out, and the people themselves would come on and start supporting and engaging the program. Chairman, you see, Stephen Biko, I don't know if you, Stephen Biko, was in the Black Conscious Movement. In fact, there's a movie called Cry Freedom, 
Denzel Washington betrays him. Mm -hmm. Chairman Fred, Stephen Biko says, black people in particular must distinguish intelligence from the ability to articulate. Big difference. Hey, I'm Carlos Miller. Are you tired of not knowing what to cook when you're stressed for time? HelloFresh can make it simple. You get fresh, pre-measured ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your door. HelloFresh offers 10 to 20 minute meals, low prep recipes, and quick breakfasts and lunches, perfect for your busy schedule. Go to HelloFresh.com slash 85South12 and use the code 85South12 for 12 free meals, including free shipping. You know, because when I order my chicken and rice and lambs and raviolis and sesame beef tacos and things of that nature, they come right to the crib ready to go. HelloFresh offers the flexibility you need with customizable orders every week. You can easily change your delivery dates or food preferences and skip a week whenever you need. So if you want to be cool like me, go to HelloFresh.com. Going slow so you don't mess it up. Use the code 85 south 12 12 free meals on me. It's crazy. Want to do that again one more time? Black people in particular must grasp the ability mm -hmm. to distinguish intelligence from the ability to articulate. What that means is they give us a whole lot of time. They give our community a whole bunch of intellectual monkeys, mm -hmm. throw a bunch of fancy words and terms, but it ain't, ain't, you know, ain't no common sense to it. Mm -hmm. The people are very intelligent. Chairman Fred say the Black Panther Party have a free breakfast program. The police pull up on them. They say, hey, are you for capitalism? So say, whoa, whoa, no, no. Chairman Fred said, that's not cool. Police say, well, what about socialism? So say, you know what? I really can't debate with those words and terms. And then police say, what about this free breakfast program? Hmm. So say, dig, this was feeding my babies. If you attend the mess with we'll blow your brains out. You know what I'm saying? The people are very intelligent. But after we get intelligence mixed up with our, the ability to articulate, you can't even black people play free breakfast program. The only prerequisite, the only criteria was that you hungry. You ain't everybody say, why your last name different than your dad's last name? You know what I'm saying? None of that was necessary. Asada Shakur talked about her book, Asada to my, it was a young brother at the breakfast program. He was stuffing some pancakes in Harlem, New, in the Harlem branch, mm -hmm. in his pocket. And she said, look, brother, you can never steal from this. This is your program. You know what I'm saying? See, we up the end. It's the difference between rioting and rebelling. Mm -hmm. Still and liberating. See, terms are important. So it wasn't no charity. And for you know it, the black the people start running these programs. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We are on liberation. A lot of organizations, a lot of individuals tell you you gotta come back and check in with them. See, Minister UEP News said that there's a difference between a revolutionary and a hero. Mm -hmm. A hero does something, you say, wow, that's 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 crazy. I can't do that because you know what I'm saying? But the a revolutionary say, man, I can relate to that. I can pick it up. And that that uh, that, that assists with our security. Because mm -hmm. Stacey said, hey, we knock him off. It's, it's going on and on. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. So let me ask you about the movie a little bit. <clears throat> what are some, before we even, you know, get into it, what are some of the things that you saw them do right with this, with the movie? Hmm. What are some of the parts that you were impressed by? You know, we had a lot of struggles. Let me, let me, let me say this. There was some, like even something, there were certain things that could not be said because we didn't have the time and space. Because a lot of people say, couldn't this movie tell us all what the Black Panther Party was? Mm -hmm. I said, you can't put no shark in no fish tank. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? This is a movie. And also, with the, in the movie industry, they call it a period piece. Mm -hmm. so, you know, a period piece, you know what I'm saying? Everything got to be on point from what Coca-Cola can you have around, you know what I'm saying? That, that period of time. Also, this is what we call a relevant piece. In mm -hmm. other words, we still are dealing with these issues. We still have Jerry Odinga done again. Prison number C-018859, still locked up, directly impacted by William O'Neill. We still have Brother Grig, uh, Griggs, who was electric shot by William O'Neill with the agent provocateur. It's still, the, the verdict is not out. And also, William O'Neill was not the only agent provocateur. So we got to be real careful in how we bring out some certain contradictions. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it was certain, let's go with the, the, the meeting. We had to put the, 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 uh, certain things to say, hold on, that organization, actual organization, could not be depicted because the movie would be incapable of ex expressing the, the um, details mm -hmm. of that meeting. And I, you know, and I, and I recall saying, you know, like at the particular meeting, that some organ you got to keep in mind that we impacted 
by this system. And with a sister going in at that meeting, you know what I'm saying, with the party, can be like a front to this other organization. So, you know, you, um, Nigel, Nigel and others, you know, Charles and others, Ryan, we, we, we sat down, Chaka, we were bursting, so we back and forth. And subsequently, that, that, that part played out. And I'm glad about that. I'm glad that that, 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 that stayed with it. Because I, something, I even told my mother one time, I said, you know what, maybe we, me and you are kind of subjective. Things that I take for granted people know or have examples of, they don't know. A lot of people have never seen the gender contradiction. Men and women work together without having a relationship. I mean, it's mad blowing to me. Mm -hmm. you, know, you know what I'm saying? See, in revolution, you might have to be in a foxhole with a sister. You, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And, and like, you, you can see it with the state. You see, like, you watch movies called Blue Blood, TV shows called Blue Blood. You don't, you see the police say, okay, you're on, you're riding in a patrol car with that person. Nothing, your mind doesn't automatically go to, oh, they fooling around. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. When it comes to our people, you know what I'm saying? We cannot even fathom an organiz a structured organization dealing with each other, you know what I'm saying? Structurally, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. with a principle. Mm -hmm. So that was a good. That was a, one of the good points. You know what I'm saying. Also, um, like when the sister was shooting out through the window with the police. That was, with that scene, we actually get back and forth about because initially you had us shooting first. You know what I'm saying. We said, hold on, it can't because man, the first name for the Black Panther Party was the Black Panther Party for Self Defense. Right. Mm -hmm. That's important to put in context because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. see, when the police beat you, they train to say stop resisting. Even they, they, you be confused sometimes. You're like, damn. I, 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 he beat me down. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But the, That's it, legal. Uh, but, the, but the politics of it, they saying stop resisting. The, the, on the door, say serve and protect. You know, I know I just seen them with their knee on the neck of this George Floyd. I, I, I know I seen Derek Chauvin killing this man. Mm -hmm. But the, 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 the serve and protect kind of kind of confuses me. You know, you know what I'm saying? See, everything is political. You know what I'm saying? Not just it's the, the schools. The, the, you, if you Google, if you Google, say, Police killed somebody. You be you can't find it. You would say you can find um, George Floyd passed away as a result of some. You know, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. It's never saying straight up murder. Wording, you, know, you, know, you know what I'm saying? Right. It impacts you differently. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Now you can find uh, Le G killed such and such. You, you, you find that. You know what I'm saying? So it impacts you how you even view the police. You know what I'm saying? So even the imagery of showing that the police were attacking a party, you had. Three major, three major shooting attacks on the Black Panther Party headquarters in, in 1969. That scene was depicting July 31st, 1969. Chairman Fred was locked up at that time. Mm -hmm. And the Chicago police was attacking the Black Panther Party headquarters. They, they would come in, they would burn the, the breakfast program, supplies, you name it. But that, that attack, they were, it's important to put out that they were attacked. And if people say, well, it doesn't make a big difference. It does make a big difference. You feel what I'm saying? They were defending themselves. Spurgeon Jake Winters. That's who Chairman Fred wanted me to be named after. Defending themselves. So we think we just reactionary, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and, and, and you want, you want to be correct about this whole discussion. Anything that we do, even if we think it's reactionary, we ain't, like people say, man, I know you tripping, man. Police killed your daddy. No, they, this system, they drew first blood. Mm -hmm. They put a gun in my, mother, my mother's stomach. She, that's the prenatal care I got. When no Dr. Stephens School placed on me, the prenatal care I got was Chicago Police Department revolver placed on her stomach. This, first of all, all black people should get a, uh, 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 what, you, uh, what you call it? Concealed weapon. No, 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 no. Um, <laughs> not, uh, what do they call it? Not, not, um, they call it war. They, uh, they, um, they say, um, so, uh, Nobel Peace Prize. All black people get Nobel Peace Prize. The fact that we ain't snapped out, you know, just, just say, man, right, we, right, right. we should get Nobel Peace Prize. Snap, you know, you know, real talk. You know, right. They just come through the monster, man, did Nobel Peace Prize. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. So to put it in a historical context, but also this is an organization that they get up in the morning not thinking how we gonna shoot out the police. They get up in the morning, how we gonna feed at least 3,500 children a week in Chicago? Mm -hmm. How, Minister Doc Satcher, how we gonna get the ambulance working the free medical center? How we gonna do the sickle cell anemia testing? That was the motivation. Right. For the program, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They were attacked and they defended themselves. As, as Deputy Minister of Health, Ronald Doc Satchel said, yeah, we are. We are armed propaganda unit. And see, a lot of bogus counterfeit individuals, they jump up, they just, they romanticize revolution. Right. Mm -hmm. See, Leather mm -hmm. Jackson, Berets, whatever, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. See, Minister U.E.P. News said that we must even politicize the gun. What makes our gun different? The police gun. We had a situation in uh, Flint, Michigan. So we told the people mm -hmm. with the water. Mm -hmm. The chemical biological warfare in the water. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We designated our troops to go down to the Black Panther Party Cub Caravan. That's what it was called. Before they went down there, we had a political education. 
In fact, our deputy field marshal, that's who led the delegation down there. When we got down there, we had the water. Now, the National Guard, they had more water than us. But what made our water different than the National Guard? A lot of people said, we don't make a difference, we get water. No, the politics. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So National Guard, they, let's get your name, let's get this here. And later on, you've seen the warrants coming down for people tomorrow, what's your uh, immigration status, if you had a warrant. You know what I'm saying? See, everything is political. Mm -hmm. We gave the water, man. You no need strings water. attached. Huh? No strings, no strings attached. attached. Right. It's political. The breakfast program. See, a lot see, a lot of people say, I don't hear that political stuff. Mm -hmm. You in the clip. See, under, under the I got a, I got a saying in the 60s, niggas needed Nixon. Nixon helped force Cast to come to grips with, with the politics. See, under the, the climate of uh Richard uh, uh John F. Kennedy, the same John F. Kennedy, the same President John F. Kennedy, that was at the end of that movie, that Billy Holiday movie. Mm -hmm. Given an award to Ace Lincoln, the FBI agent that, 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 that attacked Billy Holiday. The same John F. Kennedy that had, was responsible for uh, army tanks going through the south side of Chicago and Detroit, Michigan. Same John F. Kennedy on his tenure that was assassination attempt after assassination attempt on Commandante Fidel Castro. Same John F. Kennedy was, uh, that was responsible for the Peace Corps, but it was a class peace. The, the same John F. Kennedy that had told his brother Robert F. Kennedy, Robert Kennedy, yeah, you authorized for the wiretap on Dr. King. Nixon pulled the covers up and said, man, did this here, man. Campaign for law and order. It's going down. You know what I'm saying? So that's, we in a, a climate we call a reactionary climate now. We can't at least acknowledge it. You know, like, you, under the Trump administration, I ain't, no, I ain't pushing for no Trump thing, mm -hmm. but it was acknowledgement. Police pull you over. You know, I think you, because uh, I, I didn't have a, a degree. Well, I'm a Virgo. No, Trump's not all black. You black. Mm -hmm. When he mm -hmm. in Puerto Rico, he threw the toilet. He said, I don't, all y'all the same to me. Mm -hmm. So these contradictions, a lot of times people can come to them under reactionary terms, you know what I'm saying? And the Vanguard Party got to be consistent. We had a chapter down here in Atlanta about 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. Black Panther Party Cubs. Mm -hmm. For different reasons, you had to be, you know, you had to be pulled back. Mm -hmm. Timing, you know, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. like, it's like a relationship, you're like, man, that was a good sister. I wish I could, I would be a little more mature. Mm -hmm. We could have worked it out. Mm -hmm. So the climate, see, our organization, Black Panther Party Cubs, we, we like the last call for alcohol. Mm. People there hear us later on when it's they 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 they, 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 they go drink sharp and champagne. Mm -hmm. But they say at the end when the police they're footing they back to the point say man who is that? It's so us them cats been serving y'all all the time. Mm -hmm. when it's not popular. It was not fashionable. Mm -hmm. right, Tell me about the Hampton House. The Hampton House. That's a childhood home. Was chairman well before he was chairman. The house he grew up in. That's the house in, you know what I'm saying which um, we done found his coat there. That's the house in which. Um, Across the street is the elementary school, Irvin Elementary School that he went to. Mm -hmm. we, you know what I'm saying? We had to go do damage control. I, before we fought to take the Hampton House on, I was in West Oakland. It's ironic, the brother just walked in, he said, Oakland. He, yeah. he, he, he said, from Oakland. He said, he said, he said, man, he said, West Oakland. And that, that was significant, he said that. That was the, that was the, the, the area where Minister U.P. knew the heart, the, the first Black Panther headquarters at. That's where the government salted the earth. That's where they pushed the drugs at. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The West Side of Chicago, they put, they flushed it there, you know what I'm saying? In the Hampton House. They tried it with the Hampton House. They tried to put certain cats in the hustle. We had to go clean house. We said, man, not on my watch. The children that went to the school at Irving, a lot of them children didn't even know who Chairman Fred was. And one time, the principal was related to some members of the Black Panther Party. And kids were like, damn, why they don't know? We heightened the consciousness of them cats. It was jokes made about them children. They said, man, they, they got to get different shirt sizes. They chest started being, they said, man, we go, they was debating with each other. Is that the desk that he sat in? Mm -hmm, it changed mm -hmm. the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. We had the park, then the Chairman Fred Hampton Park down the street. You know what I'm saying? Our programs, the Triple C's, Children, Community, and Cubs, you come to free the food right there. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? To the, we correlate that to the Black Panther Party Free Breakfast Program. The Free Them All Radio, we have every Wednesday. It's hosted by, my, by me, Chairman Fred Jr., and uh, Lady of Rage. Some of y'all probably know it's uh, Baby D on Friday. Mm -hmm. we, every mm -hmm. Wednesday, tune in. Every Wednesday, Free Them All Radio. What about say it again? Free them all radio. Hosted by Chairman Fred Hampton Jr., Lady Rage, Baby D, Robin Allen. This every Wednesday, 6.30 p.m. You can you Google it, pull it up. Ask Siri about it. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So this is every Wednesday like clockwork. These are programs that come right about the Hampton House. And this is significant. This is the same. See, locations are significant. It was strategic when Napoleon came through Egypt. He said, man, 21 gun salute. Not that nose of their sphinx. You know what I'm saying? The house that was just the house to which he grew up in. So it's 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 it's, it's, it's a morale build. You know what I'm saying? Right. We there. I sit there to this day sometimes. We brainstorm. You know what I'm saying? And we didn't get all. We didn't like it was a cat. These cats called uh, TWF, mm -hmm. the Woods Finest. They some young. They was in tour with each other out there. They want to do a video shoot. I said all right. 
come on, to, we're trying to be in a studio out there right now. Let's come on to the Hampton House. They came, they called it a vortex, one of the coldest days in Chicago history. I said, now we're going to the Cook County Jail. And so we're going to meet these cats. You know what I'm saying? They met the cats coming out of jail. That's, you can, that's their video. The Woods Finds It's called Free Them All. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Mm -hmm. And I, you know, I, I want to make sure I, bring, I acknowledge I get some forces here with me today, too, because we do it for some all walks of life. Right. You know what I'm saying? Even with the, uh, uh, the video, there's another song here called Free Them All, too. My nephew, Don P. You know what I'm saying? We got a video, we did a video shoot right there at the Hampton House. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Got his brother, uh, Robert Money, Chairman Love Movement. Because see, a lot of cats be like, man, I. The revolution, everybody got the suits, they, they suited and booted, and just everybody, what they call the quote unquote conscious community. Right. No, we did the people. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, Michael Flockett came to Chicago one time, so I walk up to him. He said, he said, Whoa, whoa, he said, I heard you be here. He said, I heard you coming. Mm -hmm. He said, One second. So the brother behind him, he said, Man, this is from years back. He said, This is the brother right here. So the brother came with some big D, man. You know, he said, I, I, They told me you, you'll be approaching, because this thing we got called the, the code of culture. Black Panther Party cut a code. We we hold cats accountable. Mm -hmm. We say too many of us and sing sing for cats be throwing some bling bling. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We you on day spell block party. That's us on the stage. I ain't selling my homie. I'm talking about political prisoners. Mm -hmm. you know, go, go check it out. You know what I'm saying? We hold every every you no know, nothing move. We get the education ethic. Making a school, making a class project. We talk about political Mumi Abu Jamal. Talking about you know, saying the uh, 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 toxic waste in uh, 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 San Francisco. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We say we the Harry Tubman code. What that mean? You get out of jail, reach back for others who held captive. Mm -hmm. So then Big D, we talking. He said, man, there's a joint called Eight Drummers in Chicago. So we had the joint that night. He said, man, he said, Chairman, how you be uh, going backstage and doing these different artists? You know, I said, I just can't drink no Aquafina water, man. I got to deal with the good, the bad, and the ugly. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people deal with, this, with set conditions. They deal with Robert Rules of Order. That's how you have a meeting. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people, if you know, they came and say Chairman because they have been state trained, state made. You know what I'm saying? I'm locked up in the joint. This organization asked me, is your organization sanctioned? I said, no, I'm proud about it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Stop you, you upset me because I won't run for office in Chicago. I said, they can't make me, they can't break me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm Chairman Fred Hampton. See, that's, it's, it's empowering. Bernie, Bernie that Devlin, Irish Republican Army, she said, I remember. I, I, this is Ireland. She banned from the United States. Mm -hmm. She was the IRA. She said, I remember me, you was a baby. She said, I remember you was a baby. You had a necklace on your neck with a bullet around it. She said, I remember Minister of Health, Doc Satchel. See, he was the Minister of Health, not because the CDC said it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, the Black Panther Party said it. Mm -hmm, you know what I'm mm -hmm, saying? Mm -hmm. He was chairman of the Black Panther Party, not because the Mayor Daly said it. You, 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 the Mayor Daly said it because the people said it. Deborah Johnson was his wife, his comrade. See, a lot of people came later on to Oliver Stone and said, man, uh, you think the government killed Kennedy? I said, yeah, I think so. Malcolm told you when it first went down who, who, who did it. Mm -hmm. But I said, we can't believe it. Until the, you know what I'm saying? Before this movie came out, my plan was give me a white puppet and go on tour and just start saying, listen, man. So I said, man, you heard what that puppet said? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we can't believe nothing. You know what I'm right. saying? This movie has helped the conversation, man. Right. Yeah. So oh. I was telling you, I, 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 not shit, we got time. Okay, okay, let's make sure I, I mentioned the we couple of cats. We got time, bro. Okay. I don't want to cut you off, but that's good, what I was good. saying. I want to get some more of your. I ain't no your... curfew. Your Cubs, I ain't no curfew. <laughs> I just wanted to get some more of your reactions yes, to sir. the actual film. Yeah. Before we bring some I got you. Yes, sir. I'm with you. It's all, it's all love. It's all love. Yeah. I know you brought the family. Yeah. Man, can, I, can I Can I? Yeah. some some Black Panther? I ain't seen the movie yet. You know what I'm saying? I ain't seen the interview. Stop I ain't seen the interview yet. I ain't seen the movie yet. Okay, man. But God damn it, I got some questions. Go check it out before they ban oh, it. Before they ban it. Listen, I'm man. A, I bought it. I ain't seen Go it. Go see. Listen, man. Listen, listen. Once this, what we did is we put some Panther Cub political pills in the alpha sauce. Okay. It's certain things that we put in there. You know mm -hmm, what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. hey, you know what I'm saying? See, at the, wherever that tunnel was going on the tour, mm -hmm. The lady on the plantation, her brother said, man, hold on, man, dude, stop. What did you let dude go speak around for? Right. right. She said, he just pre preached a good word. He right. said, no, there's <laughs> right. some different dynamics going on here. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. This, so you look at the after effect, you know what I'm saying? This, this, this is, it's a guy, grew, it's a guy named Maurice Tenet, still my mother. Mm. The house we stay in, the most, majority of my life we stayed there. Mm -hmm. This guy knew me since I was three years old. He would, it would be issues with him and his lady. At the, at, the, at the house they stayed next door. Mm -hmm. They get into it. Police come over there, but all you hear the police on their walkie talkies. We better Hampton House. You, you, you better be afraid Hampton, where's he at? Mm -hmm. And I would tell you, I said, man, listen, man, don't, this is not about you. Why do you think 15 police cars pop up for a domestic case with you? Oh, man, you know, I don't play. You know what I'm saying? Flatten itself. Mm -hmm. It really, the target was this here. Mm -hmm. It took this movie for him to finally say, man, I see why you abandoned me. 
from the block. You know what I'm saying? I said, man, you a security risk, Jack. You know what I'm saying? A lot of, see, a lot of times people don't even, this client, a lot of people don't even know the dangers that they, they do. You know what I'm saying? See, it's an arrogance. I ain't no problem with ignorance. Mm -hmm. We have an issue with arrogance and ignorance. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people deal with subjectivity. The world revolves around them. We deal with dialectical materialism. Your actions impact other people's actions. Mm -hmm. Once this movie is a man, man, catch it. It's, it's certain things that's in there. This cat was talking about this. Well, I didn't like this and that. One brother called, called me and said, Well, I wish the movie would have talked about Chairman Fred's international impact. I said, Man, I said, let's, be, let's, let's have an honest discussion, bro. Mm -hmm. You're the same one. You do independent movies in Chicago. On your own volition, you did a whole movie about President Obama. When I asked you to do a snippet about Chairman Fred, you said, man, I ain't touching that. Yeah. Let's be upfront about this here. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. This ain't no safe subject, man. Mm -hmm. There's a reason. We know, what, we, know what we, talk, we know what to talk about in school. Mm -hmm. we know, let's, let's be upfront about it. We know what to say on our rap songs. You know what I'm saying? So it's certain things we got to put in there. You know what I'm saying? I can't even see it coming. You know what I'm saying? And I got to deal with all them. Last time I was up here a few months back. This cat up here, uh, uh, black youngster. He come, he, he, he go downstairs. So like, I kept, I'm in some of the guy's studio. He said, "Chairman Fred, you 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 going down there? Ain't no doubt about it. Cut through the smoke and everything. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm studying the people. I'm a servant of the people. It ain't mm -hmm. about me. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Like you ask a woman what she do, what she do for her child, you should get a different answer. What I would do, what I do for the people. You know what I'm saying? Different dynamic. Mm -hmm. So we get out there. You know what I'm saying? That, that's all 2021. Mm -hmm. Put that political pill in there. Like I catch a man, you talk, you dealing with this guy. This is it, man. Before I get back to Chicago that night, them youngsters say, man, call, man, chairman. We heard that. Because ministry we produce our people do not read as much as we would like for them to read. Mm -hmm. So we gotta be innovative with our tactics. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. See, the lot cats get stuff laid out there to them. Here you go, bam, this is your organization. That's your funding. That's this. That's you nine to five. You get in, you cluck out. Not us. Not us. Mm -hmm. Do it ever surprise you when like the, the newer rappers or the younger generation of rappers reach out to you to get some game on an album or give you a slide on the tape or whatever like that? I'm encouraged by it because the deal is, it's a climate, because the deal is that fear has been passed down, but it's a climate where, like, even let's go with that for example, let's go to the, the scenario I just laid out to you. The movement has been given a white eye. It's been given, it's been, it's been told it's like an elitism, like you can't, if you do this, you can't involve in the struggle. You can't, black youngster, the situation. I was sitting down with me about five minutes, he said, you know what, man? I wasn't even gonna smoke around you at first. He said, man, but you, 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 you want us, you the people, man. This is this what he said. And so we had pulled a piece of what I did with Fakes, former on Scarface, Ghetto Boys, we pulled it up. It's a piece called Never, mm -hmm. Remix. Mm -hmm. He said, that man. That's so hard. You seen, you seen the remix? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You seen yeah, it? Yeah, because that off the, uh, the last Scarface album that he did. But you seen the remix me and him did? I ain't seen that one. Oh, yeah. I know that, that Check it episode out. you're talking about. Check the remix that me and him did. Shit, I'm going to fuck with it. So Black Young say, he say, oh, what you doing? You, you speaking on that? I said, I said, no, 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 I'm, I'm spitting. You see? He said, all right, do it with me then. So I said, so you said over the word. I get the pen and paper. <laughs> Tie it in. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Season the time. Because uh, the deal is, there's a lot of people look for gift rap revolution. Perfect allies. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But it's, we, we see, we st like a gardener. We study the ground. You know what I'm saying? The term seeds of time, I'll be like, okay, lock and load, go. Mm -hmm. It's moves that we had planned to do down here initially. I went through the process. A lot of cats, they thought they knew what the Black Panther Party was. You can't, you, you can't tell a small cat nothing. Mm -hmm. So, cat, oh, I know, I know. On a week, hour before we pull in town, oh man, they, they counsel this event. So, I know, I know, the, I'm, I'm used to it. I don't take it personal. So, on a pivot, stick and move. That's how we move. A lot of cats used to be in a Caesar's palace. Referees, rules and regulations. This is like, they don't know rules and regulations us. Mm -hmm. They coming in 4.30 in the morning, blasting. They put sick and all, knock out drugs instead of Kool-Aid. You know what I'm saying? They, be, they put agent vodka tours. A lot of cats are in the other arenas. Mm -hmm. They say, okay, this is how we go, it's legal, we're gonna do this, we're gonna lock you up, you know what I'm saying, you have a bail bar. Then they ain't dealing like that with us, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's, that's, that's the reality. So I pivot, I stick and move. I hit, the, I hit my office, what's my office? The streets. Mm -hmm. I touch down, what's my, what's my brother's name? Scapegoat. Scapegoat. You want to play for me and him to meet? Shout out to Scapegoat, Shout out to Scapegoat. Yeah. Yeah. I touch down with him. I touch down with these justices at Morris Brown College. He's going to do an event there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A lot of cats like, man, hold on, where you at, man? This event, they ain't, they ain't how we get out. I want to fight for the, the luxury. To have that space in the arena, uh -huh. we can move on our own terms. But I mean, a lot of times people ask me, how many members do you have in your organization? I say, shh. A lot of times it depends on how many people police them murdered. People get involved in struggle one of three ways. Inspiration, aspiration, and desperation. 
See, you heard Field Marshal George Jackson? Mm. Field Marshal George Jackson, born in West Side of Chicago. Or phenomenal. It was mandatory you get locked up. You don't care. Where you, you got to know who this was. Mm -hmm. Field Marshal for the Black Panther Party. San Quentin. Field Marshal George. It's a book called Solidarity, brother. I recommend y'all check it out. And also Blood of Mind. Check it out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He organized how to join. Minister UEP didn't heard about him when he was locked up. Later on, he sanctioned him to be the field marshal for the Black Panther Party. He politicized his younger brother, Jonathan Jackson, through the letters. Jonathan Jackson came up in the courtroom, Marion County courtroom. That's who that Don song was to walk up in the courtroom, get down. That's who he referencing. Mm -hmm. I'm sure y'all heard of Angela Davis. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Jonathan Jackson, that's the case, the case that she has. They said the weapons that he had was in her name. Jonathan Jackson walked up in Marion County courtroom. Rochelle St. Hugh McGee, they up in the court of Marion County. They, they, he, uh, uh, Judge Heaney duct tape the, the shotgun to his neck and say, man, gentlemen, I'll be taking over from here. So we go into the radio station. 16, 17 years old. 16, 17 years old. Say, gentlemen, I'll be taking over from here. We go into the radio station to broadcast to the world what's happening up inside these concentration camps. Mm -hmm. I said again, 16, 17 years old. Came out the courtroom, they gunned him down, man. Rochelle St. Q. McGee is still locked up right now as we speak. One of the longest political prisoners. You know, William Christmas, John McClain, held captive. They gunned, they gunned Jonathan Jackson down. They referred to him as the young man child. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It was a different definition. This is August 7, 1970. August 21st, 1971, Field Marshal George Jackson in San Quentin was assassinated in the San Quentin prison yard. Go, go put, put up the, the funeral service for Field Marshal George Jackson. Minister Huey came up in there. He said, man, him and Chairman Bobby Seale, Minister Huey people say, man, Field Marshal George Jackson don't bring no flowers, bring shotguns to my funeral. This man, they still talk about him in the prison, the, the prison records right now. This, this was, the, 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 how you referred to the, the, the stumping ground of San Quentin. This should be mandatory. I, see, I told the youngsters one time, see, y'all got all these L L Luciano and Al Capone. I could go for that if you ain't had nothing else. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about real models, I'm not role models, real people that come from my community, man. You know so they can relate to us, man. He was given a sentence from one to life for or, 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 or a person that they said. Or, or, man, his, this cat was doing 10,000 push-ups, doing man, solid. I'm this cat here, man, man, they target this cat. Check him out, man. I say, I sell this stuff, sell stuff, sell this stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. That's Real why, talk. man, you get to talking. I, ain't, I can't cut him off. Welcome back to the 85 <laughs> South Show, man. I ain't got nothing to goddamn say. I'll tell you that. Well, look, check this out, man. We're going to leave that as part one, and we're going to bring part two in and bring some of the, uh, some of the comrades so, in. So you right. So, um, can I ask a question? Can I just ask a question? So you, I know you said you the cook. Yeah. You the cook. So, like, how is it broken down? Because I know you, you probably the third party generation of the whole situation. Because I know me, lately I've been getting into my spiritual journey. And uh, I've been getting into my books, and yeah. I've been being directed to uh, some of you guys', you know what I'm saying, stances. Yeah. And I'm kind of more so for the people as well, so when I'm hearing you speak, I'm more so like, fucking right, hell yeah. yeah. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, when was that moment when you realized, this is what I got to do? Mm -hmm. Throughout my life, I felt this, right? You know, and I was talking to earlier. Even as youngster, when I speak, I, I recall when I speak, I would try to like hold my hands down because it was like in second nature to move my hands. Mm -hmm. And I seen footage of him, Chairman Fred speaking, moving his hands. I said, oh man, it's the business. Mm -hmm. And you know, and um, but I was deprived. It was a, I said, I've been suspended from school for just talking about him, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And um, I had a, I was deprived of the political assessment, analysis, what happened to the Black Power Movement. A lot of people say, well, the movement just died away. No, mm -hmm. no. Mm -hmm. It was military defeated. Ideologically, it won. That means that to this day, people have love and admiration for the Black Panther Party. Mm -hmm. And we have to fight, we still got to fight for that legacy. You know, so you have to be real careful with this legacy, man. It's a, man, a lot of attempts to co-opt it, ward it down. Mm -hmm. you, know, you know what I'm saying? The Black the Cubs don't mean that we some young cats, man. We are the ideological offspring of the Black Panther Party. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We, uh, this, this, this is it, man. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know how long we're going to be around, but we we attempt to walk in their, not their footsteps, but their Panther Paul steps. Mm -hmm. you know, our programs can be correlated to that. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of cats, you know what I'm saying? I be doing interviews with people, right? 
And see, a lot of times, there don't be questions, to be commentaries. But mm. that's really nice, you know, no, this is no slight nobody. Black Lives Matter, I said, what part did I say that? I said, Black Panther Party Cubs. See, the narrative, see, the narrative is like, um, uh, 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 you know, the words giving you, you know, who, who is this? And no slight, you know, that's your cup of tea, mm. so be it. Mm -hmm. But man, Park needed this here, man. This, 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 this cloth. Mm -hmm. The Black Panther Party Cubs, you know what I'm saying? Uh, th 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 that's our logo right there, man, that's it. That's it. That's our logo, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We have ideology. It's the way we walk. It's the way we talk. You know what I'm saying? It's our dialogues, our turn. How they say in church, what's your calling? It's our calling. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And see, it's a structure, checks and balances. You know what I'm saying? That See, contradictions. Minister U.E.P. Newton said contradictions are the ruling principle of the universe. They got us scared. They acknowledge contradictions. Oh, man, we not all the same. We, we, excuse me, we all the same. We believe. Man, no, no community is like that. Mm -hmm. With the American Revolution, they tell you everybody was talking what Patrick Henry said, give me liberty, give me death. That's no. Thomas Jefferson told you what was going on with the American Revolution. One third was for it, one third was against it, and one third was whichever the wind blew. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We are realists, you know what I'm saying? These it's some forces, some support forces I'm gonna bring online with you, you know what I'm saying? That we to every nook and cranny community. People say, well, I can't be no revolution. Some sort of support, you know what I'm saying? Cats be like, man, how you deal with this cat? You know what I'm saying? This cat, man, they you know, they in this and this and that. We deal with the people. We mm -hmm. are we are trying to draw a line of demarcation. Who you with? The state of the people. Not if you're a Virgo or Scorpio, not if you're a Christian or Muslim, a cripple of blood, disciple stone. Who you with, the people or the state? Mm -hmm, you feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Hey, I'm Carlos Miller. We all shop online and we've all seen that promo code box by the total. And thanks to Honey, manually searching for coupon codes is a thing of the past. Honey is the free browser extension that scours the internet for promo codes and applies the best one it finds to your cart. If you don't already have Honey, you could straight up be missing out on free savings. It's literally free and installs in a few seconds. And by getting it, you'll be doing yourself a favor and supporting this podcast. When you check out, the Honey button drops down and all you have to do is click apply coupons. Wait a few seconds as Honey searches for coupons that it can find for that site. You wanna know something I bought using Honey, for real? Bro, I bought some of the hard drives that I used to record this commercial and save it on. So they usually would like, you know, in, in a price range that's okay, but after the coupon, I was like, I probably should get one more of these because I feel like I'm gonna have to buy another one. Since you wanna know, I didn't tell you to ask me what I bought on there. It's not about what I bought. It's about what you can buy. Get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash 85 South. That's joinhoney.com slash 85 South. So the Cubs, it's a, it's, again, it's a, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a Black Panther Party club by birth and by battle. Again, by birth and by battle, man. I'm, so I come from a structure of contestant. They just say, oh, man, that's his son, man. Okay, that's good. You the champ. Oh, no, no, they had to go with us. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Contested conditions. Let's see what they do. Let's see what they do in, in the Supermax Tams. Mm -hmm. Let's see what they do if they try to buy him up for the assassination attempts on his life. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now we talking. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? This ain't no, this ain't no like no Egyptian dynasty, like you just passed down to you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's called contested conditions. I'm the chairman. Mm -hmm. We have an ambassador of international affairs. We have a minister, you know what I'm saying? We have a, 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 a minister of education. We have, we have structure, checks and balances, structure. So just, you know what I'm saying? Like even with the movie, that was some struggles we had early on. I said, whoa, 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 hold on, hold on. This ain't no ragtag group of cats, this is my homie. Mm -hmm. It's structure, checks and balances. Mm -hmm. Well, let's bring some of the, let's bring some structure around here. Teddy. Who we got with us today, man? Got a few, got, got a few forces, man. You're going to be riding with us, food, man. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Bring the company around here, man. You know what I'm saying? In this, you know what I'm saying? We got my nephew. You know what I'm saying? brother, his man, Don P. It's a piece he just released what we call the Code of Culture. Right. Piece of Free Em All, right? Just, you know what I'm saying? We've been, man, we, this, this video, y'all check it out. It was shot not only in the Hampton House, but also Oakland, California. Oakland, Chicago's uh, sister cities. Also, also on deck, you know what I'm saying? His brother here, man, they, 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 um, they get this, uh, this upcoming event they get in April, we have every uh, annually, man. Brad Dream. You know what I'm saying? Once again. Robert Once Money, he, 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 he had these chairman of the love movement, you know what I'm saying? And I can say, like, I can't. The love man. movement? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know what you up. I'm not, I've been here, I've been yeah. like, like, damn. Oh, you they they sanctioned out for real. They come <laughs> you can bring in the men? Real talk. Yo, 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 yo,
So yeah, he come here. So these are different forces in the community that we work with. You know what I'm right. saying? Mm -hmm. So we have support the different forces. You know what I'm saying? It's online. So you can't limit us up. Say, man, just them, knock them off. You be through it. Right. It's a climate. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's an atmosphere right. that wherever you go, like, damn, I thought those cats ain't What's get no. What's up, G? Those cats ain't Cubs get no. Cup, man, Cubs and supporters and community, the community. See, we say the people. Right. That's our best security. You know what I'm saying? Right. And people come in all walks of life, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? And you know, we don't come with no. Like the Bible says something like, you know, bring your weary, your weary, your time. We being that. Bring us all. See, long as you ain't the, the, the state, we can deal with whatever contradictions. And we come through the, we got contradictions. But some point, you can do the struggle, man. That's what we deal with, man. We have the code of culture. You know what I'm saying? Cause we will hear every looking credit. Some cats will see me like, oh, I'm gone. Right. I, I, I got a tactic for him, all right? I hear from, from, from the rank. I hear from the uh, left, nephew. Right. Do, do, do the song. Oh, man, I'm gone. All right. Uh, uh, Rob Money, you know what I'm saying? Man, what he been at, you know what I'm saying? Bring us on stage. You gonna hear the term free them all right. in your barber shop. Your pool hall, right. at your clubs, you know what I'm saying? They last night at the, at the joint, uh, the joint last night. You know what I'm saying, man? Uh, King of Dallas restaurant. They talk to Akon every time, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, my brother, I guess my brother Slab, uh, 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 another cast. Wherever you go, you can't duck and dodge. You won't finally say, "Listen, man, I ain't with it. I'm with the you. You gonna say you with the state? You with the people? With the people? That's it. Right. Right. I'm with the motherfucking people. Show you right. Yeah. Free them all. Show you right. Everybody in here. Real talk. Man. Oh, gee, what's happening? Oh, this is love. Brother, <laughs> love. Yes, sir. Oh, so I'm going to lay that. Okay, then. Right. Right <laughs> you did. Hey, y'all forgive me. You know, I got to get back safely. You know, I'm in Chicago. Mm -hmm. And I got a big event to uh, 420. Weed right. Day. My birthday party and an award for the chairman of the day mm -hmm. in okay. Chicago. 420? Yeah, so I got to stay safe and get back. So. No disrespect. No, no, no. It's all love, bro. It's all love. My people are going back and cancel and show their kill. We love, bro. You're good, okay. man. Good. Welcome hey, man, to the trap. I have to say something. You two guys, I mean, you're funny as hell. And I love you, bro. Appreciate you. Yeah, good spirits. Hey, man, you're doing a great job. Keep up the good work. Thank, Thank you, bro. We appreciate you know, bro, that. Bro, I knew he was for the people though the first time I met him. And I go up in it. I can, I can tap in with individuals here. They for the people. They really. Right. First time I bumped here, bro, when I, for my first week out of the bed, I knew bro was good. Yeah. Over there with Mo. Yep, and Mo. Over there with Mo. And been since then. You see, the, the, the thing with the, the, the song, you know, tell me, see, I know in this in this day of times, it ain't what you say, it's how you say it. So with the youth, when you trying to be conscious or get them a history or something, you got to say it a certain way or they're going to shun it. Mm -hmm. So I try to put it in a way where I can explain the history, I can explain exactly what happened with the chairman on December 4th of 69 and explain George Jackson, the field marshal George Jackson, Jonathan Jackson. Um, the minister who he knew, mention all these names, Marcus Garvey, all these names that I mentioned in, in, in this home, but put it in a way where they can understand. And that's what I said, um, like Uncle said, the chairman said we need to shoot a visual to it. But now, the visual, when you see what I'm saying and it's flashing on the screen, you can see the people I'm talking about, it, it sink in a little different. You kind of understand a little more. But like you said, ain't nobody reading no books now. So I know I got to use my voice to reach the youth and reach the shorts, because everybody ain't talking about that. Sometimes it ain't cool. What's right ain't cool sometimes. So, we got about being cool. At this age of time and what's going on right now, this is that's why I went on when I was behind the wall and the chairman told me this, this movie, I already know what he been through and what he go through and how many hours of sleep he lose and what type of fight he doing every day. So mm -hmm. I ain't got no choice but to get in the ring with him. Mm -hmm. The worst thing to do is go to war with some soldiers that don't know what we're fighting for. Right. So I'm trying to give them the knowledge and, and let them know what, what the fight is and what we're fighting for. How you gonna go to war with some individuals they don't even know what we're fighting for? You just get on the front line with me and just going, you don't even know what the aim is, what the target is. Right. Or you ain't got no knowledge. So. I try to give them the knowledge and implement that in my song. So they be like, man, sit down, okay, now I get it. Because a lot of the shorties have been walking up on me like, man, bro, I didn't know who I looked up, woo, woo. I didn't know he did this, I didn't know right. he did that. But right. you can't get mad at them if, they, if you never brought it to them or taught them that, how they supposed to know it. Right. So I made sure when I was behind the wall, I took enough time as I can to get the knowledge to myself so I can give it to the youth or give it to somebody and prevent them from running the same brick walls I did, you know what I mean? Right, you did right. Like you found a way to, 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 to relay the message in a way that they would get it. Exactly. You, see what I'm you say it the wrong way, they don't get it, they don't want to hear it. Right. It's conscious rap. So I gave right. it to him where it's conscious, but it's still gangster. It's like gangster, but whoa. Oh, he's saying this, but I'm sliding in, so I don't right. lose. I got to keep him around. Right. Because mm -hmm. you know, people going to dip and look up. Oh, what he just say? <clears throat> what they back? What he just say? Put that, put that Panther Cup political pill in the applesauce. That's the mm -hmm. applesauce pill he talked about. Mm hmm. <laughs> That's up. Uh, he tell me, like, so I'm sure he been putting that in me, so I was sure. We, man, he, he encouraged me out once, once a day. Once a all color calls, nobody. Family, family nobody. Right. But, but I think that's the, that's the way everybody just keeps. Structure, keep, we need mm -hmm. structure. See, we got to combat liberalism, man. See, structure, 
That was we, we, we hate structure. You know what I'm saying? We was, it's ideal. I was turning on this commercial the other day. I seen a commercial, right? They told us, the lady say, she told her children to eat the broccoli. And she said, oh, my, you, the children, y'all got to stay in until y'all eat the broccoli. And the next thing you know, she put some cheese on it. I said, where does compromise it come from? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You, know, you know what I'm saying? Man, dear, we come from the club for man, checks and balances. You know what I'm saying? I can't just say I'm the chairman. Just, oh, I'm his son. No, hold accountable. You know what I'm saying? We need structure. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm, checks mm -hmm. and balances. Our community, because the deal is, this system, and they ain't cut no corners with us, man. You know what I'm saying? And you got to see, like, a criminal psychologist said behavior is affected by consequences. Behavior is affected by consequences. It's not what you, it's certain cats that believe that, well, if I, you know, I ain't going to, I'm going to do this because I mean, well, man, it's repercussions that come from this. Our community is so disrespected because people feel like the, the slum lords are told when they come, four merchants come in the country, do what you want to them, sell them what you want to sell them, talk to them how you want to talk to them, grab their young sisters and put them behind the, the glass at 15 years old and, and, and run amok. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the, sell the garbage to them. Uh, the music industry. Go turn, one of them, go turn one of them white radio stations and try singing that garbage to them. The ante is up. You say, hold on, man. So we don't care. Some, listen, man. We don't care who it, man, listen. We, man, man, they had this thing called Voter Dots from years back. Mm -hmm. Ask them cats whether they come across Chicago, uh, Illinois state lines. We, man, we didn't play that. See, then it said, man, no other community says the like, vote for lesser two evil. You know what I'm saying? Or vote or die. Uh, you have to, uh, if you told some sister, like, so sister say, I'm going to go out with somebody. I don't care who, you know what I'm saying? I'm just guaranteed. Cats be like, man, we ain't got to take no shower. We ain't got to bring no flowers. You know what I'm saying? She going out. It's guaranteed. You know what I'm saying? Our people deserve better. Up to any when it comes to dealing with us. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's a certain thing you got to say. In the 60s, it was a climate. You come, you know what I'm saying? Hold on, man. How, we, get, we get knocked up out of here. Police killer, what you saying about that? Hold on, the draft. They had a draft. You know what I'm saying? We, Muhammad Ali, we like what you're saying. Hold on, what's your position on this? Mm -hmm. Not vice versa. You know what I'm saying? The party. It want, women were in position, not for no affirmative action so you can say, oh, yeah, we got some women. No, they put in work. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You had to, you guess the ante was up. Even your relationships. Chairman Ferguson said, the best dressed brother wore a leather jacket in the 45. You know what I'm saying? You, you, sister, when he mm -hmm. talked to you, you said, what you what you do with the movement? I ain't up with that. Was, what? Out of here. Man, we did a protest one time out west, man, Chicago Avenue, man, police just kicked this guy. One of the most beautiful scenes I've seen. This cat was trying to holler this sister. She said, man, she said, you ain't over here with us? Protesting? Shh, you ain't got my ear. And you gotta be up, man. Yo, music, it, 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 it creates a different type of dynamic, a different type of athlete, a different type of church, a different type of, you know what I'm saying? No one can say, I'm neutral in that. A different yeah. type of, Richard Pryor. Comedian genius Richard Pryor was impacted by the Black Panther Party. He talks about with pride New Year's Eve he met Chairman Fred. He talks about how Chairman Fred talked to him about the party program. He talks about with pride he gave a thousand dollars for the breakfast program. Took him, you know what I'm saying? Took him out. Nipsey, Nipsey Russell talking about with pride. You got cats bragging, bundles on their ears, but ain't no contribution to the struggle. Then they hold up these old. GMOs, G government made organizations. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I support it. Hold on, man. You mean you shut up my city, you claim this, and you ain't connected, pull this, this guilt 15 us? We died and shot right, left and right, and you ain't seen about these conditions? Shh. No, no, watch. Mm. Up to Andy, man. Other community, you could, man, listen, man. Other whole people are accountable, man. You gave me some connection, you just can't come through. See, a lot of people are black when it's beneficial. Play Panther when it's profitable, <laughs> and connect with Cubs when it's comfortable. Yeah. See, he turns more than me black. He turns more than me black. What that means is, Michael Jackson tell you, I ain't, I ain't, I'm not up with all that, that black stuff. When that case come down, his tune change. They don't care about us. See what I'm saying? See, the heat, and the deal is the steak got to bring, the steak going to bring heat, or we going to bring the heat. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You, you, you say, cats, they feel, they just, I just can grab you and I want to, oh yeah, we all, oh, now we together, huh? Mm -hmm. You don't do that in your household. So I come to we the family reunion and say, man, are you with us? No, man, you know, then pop up at tax time. Hey, family. What? Hold on, man. I thought we went together. So our people, we hope you they don't want to respect you. Who is she? I see, I'm giving them a tax time. No. In a good man, didn't see it. The Black Panther Party Club, see, we with this man when it's not fashionable. Right, right, right. We're catching case for this here. You know what I'm saying? They got pictures in, they got me and Chairman Fred pitching every gun tower in Manon Penitentiary right now to this day. 
I'm 15, 16 years old. See the first race scene, Seven District Police Station. They pull out pictures, fresh pictures of Chairman Fred. Put it in my face. This is his son right here. This the he did. See, I met this cat about 15 years old. The sister come to me and say, "This a dude say uh, he Chairman Fred's son." I said, "What?" Hmm. Cat named Scott. You probably you probably gonna see this too. You know what I'm saying? Shut him, shut him out. I track him down. I said, "Man, you tell the cat you Chairman's son." He said, "Brother, I'm I'm Honorable Elijah Muhammad's son. I'm Chief Malik's son. I'm Chairman Larry Hoover's son." I said, "No, no, 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 no." I mean, like, who your mother mm -hmm. had a relationship with. Yeah, 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 yeah. He said, I said, listen, man, I was hoping, I was hoping I had a, a sibling. Right. So you can catch half of this heat that come with this here. Mm -hmm. See, I don't romanticize this. It's heat that come with this here, man. You know what I'm saying? And that's the deal that said we gotta up the ante. You told me when cats can come, whether it be artists, whether it be different arenas, that you're, oh man, oh yeah, I'm with this here, cats pop up, like even the Black Panther Party. It was some shows we had even the movie. Mm -hmm. it, it was naming cats, quote, cats. Hold on, who is this? Oh, they was, no, no, they might be at the tailgate party outside. Mm -hmm. I'm, talking, I'm telling you, these cats here got dirt under their cleats. They got scars in the football, in the huddle. Mm -hmm. I ain't telling you, you know what I'm saying? They went out there, they were, you know what I'm talking, I ain't telling you, at the tailgate party. Catching heat is it. We gotta put some work in with this here, man. My family. It's my nephew, man. It's three situations. I done went to, I done went to the hole two, three times. And, and I, Last time I talked to him, he told me about his movie. I'm, I'm in the hole at the time. I write him a letter. But at the time, you know, I had to send a letter across the hall because I couldn't get no stamps. I was on the street. So I said, across the hall, I get to my man to send a letter to my people. They get intercepted by the police. They come grab me. They give me six more months in the hole. They said, I'm exciting to ride because I was on um, the time right to The only way I get out of it when the war get to him with me, I show him where my mother is. I show him my whole contact list. Okay, Kimberly, you have to show him. I'm like, that's my family. So y'all telling me I can't interact hmm. with my family. I'm inciting a ride for interacting with my family in a letter. Right. When they listen to your phone call, they come snap you, take me to the hole again. So I know it's going to come with it. I know it's a fight. Even when I ain't fighting, I'm fighting. The people watching, everything that's going on. Right. You mean tell me I'm in here and I'm writing a letter to my uncle about a situation, and y'all come take me to the hole and say I'm inciting a ride. And I'm starting to try to um, a political predator. I'm trying to start a political um, riot in the jail. So I did six months for writing a letter to the chairman. You know what I'm saying? That's the reality. games they play. This the reality. That's why it's important, it's imperative that we had, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, shout out to y'all. You know, I mean, that real talk, man. For us to have these type of avenues, venues, kick it out, you know what I'm saying? The event coming up, you know what I'm saying? Our brother's birthday, man. You know what I'm saying? We're going to party, have a good time at the same time. The politics. You know, people got a, a bad conception of the, of the struggle. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I don't hear that stuff. Man, man we, 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 we everyday people. We party, we kick it, we chop it up, everything. Your music, everything. It's the people, man. You talk. And Chairman Fred said, you, 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 you're afraid of socialism, you're afraid of yourself. It's the people's thing, man. Right. Real talk. So I heard you break it down when you were like, you got the Black Panther Party, then you got the Black Panther Party, the, the Cubs. Yes, sir. So what is the difference between the first ones, you know, UEP News, and then now to this generation? Yes, sir. Minister UEP News. Minister UEP News. <laughs> so you're right. Yes, sir. That was the groundbreakers, man. That's, that's, that's a visionary. Mm -hmm. That's a visionary. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? We, we humble ourselves with that legacy, man. You know what I'm saying? As we brought the ground to the 10-point platform. You know what I'm saying? And we, nothing stays exactly the same. Two minutes ago was history. Mm -hmm. We respect it for that. But it's ever developing. You know what I'm saying? Like even with the United States, they studied West Point. The, the different, they studied General Patton, they, 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 those before them. But they put it in context. It's things that what may have been, I'm just some, I'm talking to some, uh, his brother Slab, his son today, he tweaked, he's telling us some updated terms. Things are constantly ever developing. I'm having a flashback when I talked to some youngsters some, this some years back. Mm -hmm. And I was talking about MySpace, and y'all started laughing at me, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You gotta, so things are ever developing. So we, gotta, you know, so we gotta be constantly moving, but keep the core of it. You know what I'm saying? So the Black Panther Party Cubs, that's the, org that's, that's the organization. That's, you know what I'm saying? That's counting legacy of the Black Panther Party. We wanna set the ground, you know what I'm saying, cultivate the soil. You know what I'm saying? For those who pick up, you pick up the baton you know, after, after, we, after we gone. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Bad, man. J-O-N, man, play me some. Boy, this shit beautiful. This I shit so deep, cap. man. I ain't even cap. The chairman, man, don't let this be the last time you stop through the trap, man. Hey, man, listen, I'm honored and humbled to be here. I look forward, we look forward to coming back, coming black with y'all, man. You said you y'all ain't got one down here. You did, but y'all, y'all. Hey, hey, oh, oh, I want a strategic move, man. Yes, if I, I see what I want to do, mm -hmm. and what I can do is it's, it's, it's like, it's like, I'm, I'm fighting to set it, you know what I'm saying? It's like, like, I'm a visionary, man. Yes, sir. And I'm fighting to get things in place, man. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like time and all that. So, yes, you know sir. what I'm saying? So we got some, we got a lot of forces on deck, you know what I'm saying? So 
I'm working on it, man. You know okay. what I'm saying? It's, uh, and it's like Malcolm X said, the collective conscience of the people tick slowly. Mm -hmm. But it erupts the volcanic force that make Mount St. Helen look like nothing. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, I'm, hey, I'm, Adam, them guys who were playing basketball, said, who was that up there on, 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 on Rutgers court watching? Oh, man, dude be on some draft notices, man. He become, he ain't just watching no basketball game, he looking. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's natural to me. When I come mm -hmm. through, I see colors. I say, okay, light blue and black. I see, that's what I can, on one is for. I'm, I'm, I'm hooked on this. I'm hooked mm -hmm. on this struggle, man. So, oh, for you, hey, we on and popping, man. Real talk, it's, hey, we said the Cubs are coming, the Cubs are coming, the Black Panther Party Cubs are here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, look, man, this is exactly why we built this platform. It's to have black like people, black it. voices, it. Mm -hmm. come and speak on everything yes. from entertainment yes. to social economic yes. statuses and revolutions and everything yes. involving black people. Yes. Yes, so don't ever hesitate to use our platform so right. to get the information. You got another right. media out there. Right on. Yeah, exactly. You dig what I'm saying? It's only pop. And, yes, they, sir. and they can't cancel this one. Real talk. So, hey, I'm on it, man. It's so yeah, real talk. We on it. Get the real, raw, we uncut it. truth. That's right. And hell, we there's so much more shit we can sit here. Yeah. And, and chop it up and talk no, about it. Real. Bro, I'm just telling you, this like, we making history. We're making history. This shit, dude, because I ain't never been around y'all. It's for real. Is it our last time? This motherfucker for real. Yes, sir. Can I touch you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I know a lot of people look at me, right? Mm -hmm. I'm a street person. Right. And um, why you mess with some other stuff? Mm -hmm. You got your stuff. Mm -hmm. You know? And I say to myself, I say, yeah, I'm financially cool. I do what I do. Mm -hmm. But it's one thing I learned about him by watching him. Mm -hmm. All the years I've known this man, a lot of times he didn't have a dollar in his pocket, man. People right. don't even know that. And people weren't even helping. He'll call me, I'll step up. If people knew what that man went through, man, and so serious about his legacy, they would understand his struggle. Mm -hmm. I believe right now, he would eat out a garbage can before he damaged his father's legacy. I believe he'd eat out a garbage can. Seriously, I have seen it. Struggled hard times, like he said, lights, gas off. Mm -hmm. And all these people that had a lot of money wouldn't even help him. This is God, man, that's helping this man right now. Mm -hmm. This is time, mm -hmm. and it's gonna shine. Mm -hmm. He like being around me because I'm the love movement. I never fake you out. If I told you something, that's what it was. Right. You can ask anybody in the country. If I say we're going to the moon, I'm getting a space shuttle. Keep your word. Mm -hmm. Keep your promise, man. Mm -hmm. Do that. No matter what you do, keep your word and your promise. That's why I hang with him. I drove all the way from Chicago to begin thousands, thousands of dollars. But the money part is not important because I know his legacy is going to be something. Mm -hmm. He probably get a lot of heat from being me, man. You the Panther Party, why you got players all in your party? He probably get heat. Born of the heat. See? I'm tripping. <laughs> but that heat he get, keeps that guy right there. You'll feel Marshall. Keep on dick. <laughs> Every, and even the child. Uh, this man kicked doughs in, man. He, that's, <laughs> and then he get ready to kick a dough in. He told me, he said, you know what I do, money? I see your face. And I said, love movement, love movement. Yeah. <laughs> Same with him. Right. But I'm glad that what I got can rub on them and help them, man. Yeah. Because he's my brother for real, man. My brothers. It's the same love. Whatever yeah. you got rub off of us, talk. and it's the same Shout out also, lads. We, we, we have some phenomenal, we've been making some major moves, man. Grandmaster, what's, uh, what's our brother's name last night? Virgil. Virgil. Yeah, oh, Virgil. Shout him out, but yeah. Slab. It's, a, it's, it's a, you yeah, know what I'm saying? It's, it's just um, these enforcers, like, like I said, you can't, you can't plan all these moves, man. And I, I tell you, I'm, I love the people, man. Right. Straight up. I, man, I mean, I. I was locked up one time. This cat say, "How you be seeing? What you seeing?" People, I said, "Man, listen, man. 
the politics, man, I see, man, the potential of our people, man. Real talk. Contradictions and all. Talk. We all got flaws. We all damage you. I was doing an interview one time, so I said, well, I'm not damaged. I said, shit. I don't know where you come from. I said, you can't, this government can't transfer a TV without damage it. I said, hmm. you know, transfer, you ain't damaged? I said, shit. What world you on? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But deal is, man, we all got scars and bars, man. But this, I, I know, I done seen what we can do, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like our brother just said, like, events they be doing, so we come in, it, they, they try to keep us subjected, like these different cliques, and, you know what I'm saying? I search out for points of unity. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, okay, what can we agree on? You know what I'm saying? Man, you go to the events, man, the wards and all that type of stuff, you know what I'm saying? The, my nephew, different girl, the youngsters with the, the music is not a catch. They have blockers up, right. and vice versa, you know what I'm saying? Different arenas. Man, the people, it's the Sandinistas, the Sandinistas and they fight in Latin America. Mm -hmm. They had a saying that the will of the people is greater than the man's technology. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We can't afford the luxury, man. You know what I'm saying? We tripping about, you know what I'm saying? Why, oh, man, I don't, you know, I don't fool with the Virgos. I just do the Capricorns or the guys or <clears> one of the players. I don't fool with them. You know what I'm saying? The cast, the rap industry. You know what I'm saying? Or even gender or generational contradictions. You know what, right. what I'm saying? Old cast, young cast, man. It was a climate. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like at the Hampton House. This cat, he, he, he paint, he, he do painting. So that every field marshal got him to come through. He, he, he did paint the house. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? That's his, that's his job. He didn't charge. His mother seen him on live doing a painting at the house. You know what I'm saying? He put out colors, the light blue and black. She said, you know where you was at? They never had the conversation before. Mm -hmm. And they had, that's, that opened the door for the conversation. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It be cats. This part, it, it, the, the part, it impacts us in so many ways. Like, it's like we scared to talk about it. Once you, it's a floodgate. Once it open. Man, listen, Lennon, Kenny Lennon with the Russian Revolution, right. said what takes people 20 years during ordinary times, they learn two years in revolutionary times, man. Real talk. You had you, you to call, that's our, that's our slogan, free them all. Mm -hmm. You had through all the joints, all the camp, the, 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 the music, the studios, the player, the barbershop. It's a, it's a the, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And you could still be, like that's the channel of the disciples. The devil's disciples, we the black disciples. We work at the Free Breakfast Program. They're still disciples. Right. There's some little black disciples, stones, black people, stone nation, the vice or the free medical center. So it's a different, athletes, it's a different dynamic. Mm -hmm. you know, look, at, look, at the, look at the cast on the movie. Man, so Dominique Fishback, she's talking about, she said, man, the, the, the impact of playing, you know, Deborah Johnson, mm -hmm. Daniel Kalu, you know, I mean, the, the, the conversation we had, the Keith Stanfield, this, this, I mean, he was going, man, he asked, he, he was, you know, he was dressed for college, he was doing do, do on breakfast club, Charlamagne. Mm -hmm. And then it was crazy, after the meeting we had at the table one time, you know, Charlamagne said, man, what's changing in these dudes? You know what I'm saying? Man, it's politics, man. Mm -hmm. So he says, it's them between 20 million niggas and 20 million niggas on with this politics, man. Right. Real talk. Mm -hmm. Hey, Nate, man, thank you for coming Real through talk. here and blessing us and putting us up on some game. I'm honored. Right. We honored. He's so used to calling me. He say Don P free and all that capital P. Free. My fault. Don P free, everybody know he. He my man. He still, he still my little young nephew. I'm, you know what I'm saying? He ain't, you know, keep on keeping. He right, capital P. Right, 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 right. Killing all previous ignorant thoughts of life. That's what the capital stands for. I came home on a different type. Capital P. Right. You know, you be, you know, you, you be older than your nephew, like man. Still my little young nephew, man. You know what I'm saying? Okay, before we go, before we go, he be 50 years old. You know, my little nephew. We been serious all day. We been serious all day. Yeah. What's up with the sideburns, man? Listen, man. I'm glad you. Hold on, man. Hold on, man. Hold on, man. Get his ass. Get his ass. Hey, we on this. Can they smooth, Jack? They smooth. They smooth. We on this. And we on this. Hey, listen. When I'm in the joint, right? Right. I come out one day, man. And I, man, the sideburns got chopped out of it. They want to move. The guys, they say, "Oh, hey, hold on. Hold on. We sideburns at you." Right. It's a man. It's a man. Listen, Chevy Fred on side. It's a politician. This hit man. And you know, on the movie set, Daniel, the brother who playing the Chevy, come out. I said, hold on, man. Who the side And they, they was on it. Man, listen, man. The, the whole aura to it, man. Hey, hey. I, I, I get a poem made by Chairman Fred. As a child, I grew up looking forward to not be here in the sideburn. Yes, and the receding headline, I, I can't do the, the, the afro no more. Yes, sir. But the sideburns, man. The sideburn. That's that path to politics. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Fuck you mean, baby. Get out of here. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah.
I know you've been lurking on the site trying to figure out what you want. All this, this is coming. These shirts, these hats, by the time you see this, guess what they'll be? On the site. Just do it. You know you want to buy it. I don't care how much you bought. This is new to me, so it's new to you. Do you want the hookup? Use the promo code. I'm not telling you how much the promo code is for, because you have to do some work too. Nah, for real. Go to the website and get you some of this, bro. This is made out of that good soft t-shirt material. We got t-shirts made out of t-shirt material, and we got jogging pants made out of jogging pants material. Look at this. This is crazy. That is so dope. Plus, you need to switch it up a little bit. You, I'm telling you, step your t-shirt and your hat game up. You already got all the design in the world, but this is black owned. And if you buy it, it'll still be black owned because you black, right? Well, if you're not, buy something black owned. White people haven't been supporting black owned businesses. That's why we started this one. But now that we here, you can buy something too. Just wear it around the house if you're not comfortable enough. Whatever, it's just stupid, it's stupid. Hello everybody, my name is Carlos Miller and I just came to spread a little black love because I hope you having a good day because this is a good day scent that's black love. Since I love you so much, I want to give you my discount code, my personal discount code and go and get 25% off, L-O-U-S. Kind of look like love if you write it fast. But if you use my code, you'll get an additional 25% off if you go to the Good Day Sense website and buy you some of these dope ass candles. Man, that shit really do smell like black love though. Like after black people been holding hands with some cocoa butter on. That's love. Use my personal discount code so you can get you some of these nice ass candles and have a good day with a good day scent. 25% off, L-O-U-S, Black Love. One of my favorites, because I love you. And you're black. Even if you're not black, the code still works. That's the beautiful part about it. It's crazy. I'll see you next time.